Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. We're trophy fishing today, and our luck has finally turned for the better. What an eventful day of trophy fishing, from loot sharing, some pretty cool stuff, to finally getting some unique diamonds. It's been a while, but yeah, it should be a lot of fun. If you guys are excited for today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's episode. Super quickly though, if you do find yourself checking out the Hypixel store to pick up the remains of some of these last fire sales, don't forget to use my career code, CodeZach, that's Z-A-C-H, to save 5% when checking out for anything on the Hypixel store. It's a great way to support myself and the channel, and I do greatly appreciate everyone who uses my career code. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I do greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's episode. Oh man, I'm starting my day trophy fishing, and I, I got a diamond. It's a diamond lava horse. I'm pretty pretty sure i already have this one it didn't say new discovery and uh yeah okay yeah i have four of them so definitely one i've already gotten we keep on going and working towards this um mold fin diamond i really want to get it um i just don't know when i'm gonna get it you know so we're just gonna keep on chugging away surely eventually it'll just it'll just come and bless me uh, i had some really good soul fish luck for anyone that doesn't know, I haven't actually trophy fished for my soul fish. All my soul fish that I've gotten, and I've gotten two diamonds. Both of these were when I was um, sea creature fishing, like for Lord Jobuses and stuff. So I got very lucky with my soul fish. I am aware of that. But hopefully we can get a little luckier with my mold fin. And then we need to go start working towards skeleton fish. So um, yeah, if I could just get blessed up just a little, that would be that would be tremendous. So I've made an executive decision. My executive decision is that I'm going to be wearing this gold uh, trophy hunter set for a long time. So I figured we should treat it a little bit and get the uh, the festive reforge on this thing. Basically, festive will give me uh, an extra two fishing speed on epic items. And um, you know what? Since I'm going to be wearing this for so long, it, it honestly kind of adds up. So... I think we go and get four of these. Um, they're a little pricey. Half a stack of hunks of blue ice and a stack of hunks of ice. So I do have all that saved up. We're going to go ahead and purchase four of these bad boys. And then we can go ahead and uh, hex our gear and um, basically just kit it out. I was kind of on the fence about doing this because this is an armor set I will literally eventually be getting rid of. But considering how long I actually have to wear it for, man, 250k per, that is fraudulent, no? Um, but yeah, considering how long I have to wear it for, I think I think this is worth it. Like this is the last trophy in our set I'm gonna be kind of dumping stuff onto and may as well may as well make it good considering how long I have to fish in this. So there we go. We got festive on all four golden pieces. That should help out a little bit with some extra fishing speed. Okay, I'm I'm so happy but so sad all at the same time somehow. And you guys might be wondering how. I was just fishing and then my game crashed um after a cast. And the cast I happened to get was a volcanic stonefish. Um, and I, I can't show you guys the chat message now because my game crashed, but volcanic stonefish diamond, which is another 32 skyblock XP we just went up. Somehow I didn't have this one. I don't know how. I wish I did. Um, this has been one I've been working towards for a long time. Yeah, 748 of these things caught. But finally, a unique diamond that puts us up to 11 out of 18. Still no diamond mold fin. But one thing that is nice now is I've always been fishing for my mold fin up here on the side of this volcano. Now I can fish for it down here or in the Mystic Marsh so that I don't catch volcanic stonefish because I was doing this because I needed it still. But now I can literally remove that from the loot pool and fish like just in the Mystic Marsh here in like one of these piles. So that's super nice to try and get it. That should help speed up the process just by a little bit. Uh, I always try and fish in areas where I can get multiple things all at once obviously and um yeah but there we go unique diamond finally volcanic stonefish let's add this bad boy to the collection it's a rare um so you know what let's move let's move those along and i guess we'll slap this like right here ish or you know what let's let's move these up because we need two full rows there's 18 in total so by the time i finish off this second row means we've caught every single diamond so seven more to go let's see if we can keep chipping away at it but finally a unique uh discovery it's been a long time since one of those and uh nice to see the plus 32 skyblock xp that's that's super clean that, that's so dope okay it is now the next morning from when we got that diamond and i fished for like another three-ish hours last night until like two something a.m before i went to bed i wasn't fishing on my setup though um, so I wasn't able to record and somehow the only time I'm not able to record is when something crazy happens. Okay. Take a look at, um, at this bad boy real quick. 
Moldfin Diamond. Yep, that's right. Just just casually got two unique diamonds last night. One where uh, my game crashed right after catching it, and the second one where I wasn't on my setup, so I couldn't record it. But insane. Two unique diamonds last night. That's 64 Skyblock XP. That puts us up to 74 out of 100 towards level 382. And if we do PV, that puts us at 12 out of 18 for uh, the Diamond Trophy Fish. But there's our mold bins. 363 catches. Not terrible. We also got our Volcanic Stonefish at 748. Not terrible. I mean, honestly, kind of rough, but we'll take it. I'm done with the Volcano now, which is nice. And um, now we're moving on to Skeleton Fish. So, yeah, caught some of these last night. These are slow to catch. I'm not going to lie. I've been doing it a little bit for a couple hours now, and... It's it's a process, so yeah, we're just gonna keep on with it. But my goodness, two diamonds off the list that I've been trying to cross off my list for a long while. So really, really happy about that. Obviously, I'm gonna keep on fishing for the skeleton fish now. But my goodness, it f it feels good to get some unique diamonds after a while. And 64 skyblock XP is nothing to scoff at at my level. So I will happily take that and uh, and basically run. Like if we go and look, it puts us at. 95.4% uh, towards getting all the Skyblock XP in the game. We're currently ranked 50th. I think we're going to drop a bit more before we climb, unfortunately, because I, I did get Taming 60 very quickly, and I was like 60th or 62nd or something when that update dropped. So if, even if those people all just went and did Taming 60, they passed me, right? So um, kind of do my best to get ahead of that if I want to stay in the top 50. And um, that's what we're going to do. I mean, even if they pass us for a little bit, I plan on passing them again afterwards. So uh, I want to climb the ranks until we're, we're max Skyblock XP, basically. But trophy fishing is a big part of that. I still have a good amount of XP to get. If we still have six uh, unique diamonds to get, we still have nearly two full levels of XP to get. 192 Skyblock XP still remaining. And that's not including the fact when we get Diamond Trophy Hunter, uh, the upgraded accessory, and then the Diamond Trophy Hunter set for the museum, which is another 10. So there's like a lot of other uh, stuff that comes with it. Not to mention we'll be able to salvage some 10-star uh, gold pieces I saved and actually get um, Gill Splash equipment. So there's a lot that comes with finishing Diamond Trophy Hunter and a lot of stuff I, I desperately want. So... Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep chugging away at it. I don't know how much at a time, but I, I guess I'm gonna keep fishing today. You guys are getting at least this fishing video, and then maybe the rest I'll do on the side. You guys will see the odd diamond clip, because all the diamonds I've left, unfortunately, are difficult ones. Um, like, we have skeleton fish, slug fish, vanilla, um, we have... Which other ones am I missing? I'm missing Obfuscate 3, which I probably have enough Obfuscate 1 saved up. I just need to turn them into 2s and then 3s, hopefully. And then what other two are we missing? Karate we're missing. And then I'm missing one more. Which ones are we? Here, let's just, let's just go over what we're missing really quick so you guys can be kind of updated on that. So we are missing uh, Golden Fish, right? Golden Fish, we're missing Skeleton Fish, Karate Fish, Vanilla obfuscate three and slugfish if you could pick the six most difficult to get uh th those are probably the ones i'm missing so a little unfortunate there it's, it's gonna get worse before it gets better but it has to be done toad stars already got it done I, I got some catch-up work to do but man what a night getting uh two unique diamonds that was great so even though we got two unique diamonds last night i'm not exactly setting myself up to get uh any more anytime soon because what i'm working towards right now i'm working towards three different trophy fish i need all at once and um the three of them all at once maybe isn't the best idea but the way it is is like my casts are super long but anytime i get one of these three diamonds it'll just increase my efficiency while fishing by a ton so i'm fishing with a starter lava rod to try and get vanilles uh vanilles is another diamond i'm still missing and actually one i haven't really even caught that many of i've only caught 90 total and um so to do so you need a fish with a basic starter lava rod with no enchants which right off the bat decreases my fishing speed and my chance for trophy fish by a ton the next thing i'm fishing for is a skeleton fish which obviously isn't quick by any means either it's it's epic rarity which means it's quite difficult to catch and uh, anyone who's fished for one of these things knows if you're going for a diamond it's going to take you a while the third and final one that's probably slowing me down um arguably the most is a slug fish and um that's why i have my slug pet out here because for anyone who doesn't know to catch a slug fish you need to have your rod in the water 
for 20 seconds. Your rod has to be in the water for 20 seconds to catch it. But because of the new pest update, the slug pet actually comes in clutch here for us. Basically, when fishing in the Crimson Isle, slugfish take 50% less time to catch. So now it's 10 seconds. And actually, if I dequip this um, pet, does it change? It does. It literally changes it in my inventory. Do you see that? Bobber must be active for 20 seconds. I swapped to a slug pet. That's actually sick that they did that. Um, and then... Oh wait, it, now it now it's out update again. Let's let's try and pick it up one more time. Yeah, see now it says 10 seconds because I have my slug pet equipped. So yeah, and you have my bobber active for 10 seconds. I'm fishing for vanilla, skeleton fish, and slug fish. This is not gonna be quick by any means. I've signed up for a ridiculously long process. I'll be shocked if we get another diamond for today's video. Well, I was right. I've been fishing away. It's been a couple more hours now, and uh, I barely have anything to show for it. I mean, over 10 seconds of cast is... It's it's brutal. It's uh it's very time consuming and um little little to show for your efforts. This is not gonna be a quick process by any means. And I was aware of that going in, but like did I even go up ten vanilles? And I went up like twenty slugfish. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> We're gonna be here forever. Wow. Okay, well, I didn't go up uh anything I wanted by much. I guess the main issue is like you just get so many drops that are just kind of useless to you but one thing that's kind of nice is i think i've fished up almost 20 million coins worth of drops in the last day so uh that's a little extra money in the pocket and i have been loot sharing some lord jobbuses that uh do get spawned in the lobby luckily some people are kind enough to divulge that information about where they are so far we've killed 97 of these bad boys and i did actually loot a frag last night as well at like uh 12 52 a.m so yeah, got another egg molar fragment. I need three more, um, which is something I kind of want to turn some attention to. Or maybe I'll just hope that I'll loot share it while I'm trophy fishing because I, I want to be able to get the crafty uh, magmalor gauntlet and I can finally put my magmalor armor into the museum to actually get that skyblock XP. So that's another uh, don museum donation I've been waiting on for a long time. But unfortunately, I've run out of time today. That's the problem with trophy fishing. When you fish for like... I want to say I did like 8 to 10 hours of fishing in today's video, maybe even more, but um, yeah, not too much to show for it. I mean, we, we got our two unique diamonds, so I really can't complain. Overall, great day, but we won't begin the unique diamond for a good while now. Uh, this is going to take forever, and I'm, I'm sure of it. So um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy today's video, though, and you guys want to see more fishing or Skyblock Iron Man content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We're on the road to level 400, less than 19 levels to go until we get that gold prefix. And my goodness, I can't wait to see that. So if you guys are excited for that in this grind overall, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Use code Zach when checking out on the Hypixel store. But without further ado, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.